Which character was played by four different actors? Why did Molly Aphram leave the show? And what's the real reason behind The Last Man Standing's cancellation? Hi, let's start! Alexandra Crosney as Kristen Baxter This aspiring actress left the show after only one season. While she played the eldest of the Baxter siblings, she was actually younger than Molly Aphram. Unfortunately, Alexandra didn't do enough to stay in season two and was recast with Amanda Fuller. ABC didn't give a specific reason for her departure, but many believed Crosney was just too young for the role. In contrast, Amanda Fuller was more mature and a better fit for the role of a single mom who had to balance between work and family. However, many fans of Last Man Standing didn't take the news well, and Amanda received a lot of backlash. Recently, Fuller revealed to Hidden Remote how it was difficult at first to step into someone else's shoes. Everyone has their set mind of what that character is, she said. They've already met them and got used to them. You have to earn the audience's love and respect, and that can be a process sometimes, she said. She added that it was a hard thing to do, but it was totally worth it. Amanda Fuller admitted that she had to deal with a lot of cyberbullying during her time in Last Man Standing. Hopefully, after all these years, fans have gotten used to Amanda and have no problem with her. But it's not the same for her on-screen sister. Molly Aphram as Mandy Baxter Anderson After ABC cancelled Last Man Standing in 2017, the actors and the fans were sure that was the end of it. They moved on, found new jobs, and were absolutely shocked when Fox chose to revive the show. The excitement was short-lived, however, as the fan favorite Molly Aphram decided not to come back to the show. She played the middle sister Mandy for six years and was beloved by many fans. Executive producer Matt Berry told TV Line that when the show came back, Molly simply wasn't able to return to the show. It's unfortunate. We love her deeply. She's a big part of who we were. In 2018, she starred in the drama movie The Front Runner and appeared in the TV show Casual. The next year, she only had a couple of guest roles in The Act and Modern Family. It's obvious that the actress just moved on and decided to start a new chapter in her career, so Mandy was recast. Molly McCook became the new Mandy, and many fans were angry about it. The actress shared her thoughts in an interview with Pop Culture. I think that people would be furious at that, McCook said. And I think that people would be furious if Mandy did look the same as Molly Aphram. According to the actress, any change would have made everyone uncomfortable. Instead, the writers created McCook's own version of Mandy, and that's the reason why the new Mandy is so different to the old one. What do you think about the new Mandy? Caitlin Deaver as Eve Baxter Aphram's not the only one who got too busy for her role, though. There was another actress from the show who found new projects during the hiatus. Of course, we're talking about Caitlin Deaver, who starred as Eve for all these years. She has had a ton of roles in both TV and movies since ABC's cancellation. Can you believe that since Last Man Standing, she's appeared in 10 movies? In 2019, Deaver also got a main role in the miniseries Unbelievable. Caitlin definitely doesn't have as much time to star in Last Man Standing as a lead actress. So how did they solve this problem of Deaver's busy schedule? If you watched the last two seasons, you would know that the writers sent Eve to Air Force Academy. Sometimes she visits the Baxter family, and sometimes the Baxter family visit her. Amanda Fuller told Pop Culture how amazing Caitlin is in real life. According to the actress, the success didn't change Deaver at all. You would think someone in her position could just be like, okay, see ya, I'm doing these things now, and she is not at all. Whenever Caitlin has time, she asks the writers to add her in a couple of episodes. She wants to be in the show anytime she can. Caitlin Deaver is definitely still a family member for all the Last Man Standing crew. We just hope she'll have more time during Season 9's shooting. Flynn Morrison as Boyd Baxter This young character has been portrayed by not just one, but four different actors. In the very first season, Evan and Luke Khrunchev shared the role, as Boyd was so young at the time. But in Season 2, the Khrunchev brothers lost their place to Flynn Morrison. The young actor portrayed Boyd for five years, but his contract wasn't renewed for season seven. What went wrong? Producer Kevin Abbott explained that they wanted to age up Boyd Baxter. We're bringing him back at the age of 12, so we can do some fun storylines about a young man on the cusp of becoming a man. Jed Jurgensmeyer, who replaced Flynn, turned out to be a very busy actor outside the show. Surprisingly, his list of credits is pretty impressive. 
Apart from episodic roles in shows such as Grey's Anatomy, Blackish, and many others, Jet also starred as a lead voice actor in Bubble Guppies and Tots. And we didn't even mention his credits in television movies. That's the reason why Boyd has less screen time in the last seasons. Still, he was welcomed on set since the start, according to the actor. Amanda Fuller, who plays his mom on the show, contacted her on-screen son shortly after the casting. She made Jet stay on the set comfortable, and it was amazing. Erica Alexander as Carol Larrabee Yes, Carol wasn't a main character in the show, but she was absolutely hilarious. However, the actress Erica Alexander didn't return to her role after the hiatus. Tisha Campbell became the new face of Carol, who is married to the Baxter's next-door neighbor Chuck and is a close friend of Vanessa's. So why did Erica decide to move on? The reason is pretty obvious and is similar to Molly's. Once Fox picked up Last Man Standing for a seventh season, Erica Alexander reportedly had already taken on different projects. The actress only had a recurring role in Last Man Standing and appeared in just 10 episodes of the show. After she left the show in 2015, Erica starred in many TV shows. She received recurring roles in Beyond, Insecure, and Black Lightning. Since 2019, Alexander has become a series regular in Wu-Tang and American Saga. The actress definitely had no time and no wish to come back to the show she left a couple of years earlier. By the way, Tisha Campbell, who was recast as Carol, only appeared in one episode, so we don't understand why Carol had to be recast just for a guest spot. Nick Jonas as Ryan Vogelson It was a weird time when Nick Jonas played a guest role in Last Man Standing. The show has featured a range of guest stars, including Kim Kardashian, Jay Leno, and Reba McIntyre. However, in 2011, Jonas was a 19-year-old former Disney Channel star. He appeared only once in the Christmas episode and never came back to the show. The reasons are still unclear, but probably he was not very interested in that type of project. Now Nick Jonas is everywhere, from judging the voice to serious roles like in The Kingdom. But how many of his fans remember that he was the original Ryan Vogelson in Last Man Standing? Jordan Masterson rejoined the project in Season 2 and has starred as Ryan ever since. But Nick is still, technically, the original Ryan. Why did Last Man Standing leave ABC? Here we would like to talk not just about actors' departures, but the show's departure from a network. Last Man Standing was cancelled in 2017, and the real reason behind this is still unclear. ABC Entertainment president Channing Dungey told The Hollywood Reporter that the reason behind the cancellation is business. There are many factors that go into the decision-making process. Ratings, critical acclaim, of course we look at ownership structure, Dungey said. We can kind of understand the network because even though Last Man Standing aired on ABC, the network didn't actually own the show. The show was created by 20th Century Fox, which meant that ABC had to pay fees to 20th Century Fox. Ironically, Disney, who owns ABC, bought 20th Century Fox in 2019, and both networks can distribute each other's products for free now. On the other hand, the main audience of ABC is younger than Last Man Standing's audience, and they probably have another political viewpoint. However, the show was still number two on the network. Many fans believe that Last Man Standing was cancelled because of politics. Tim Allen is a proud Republican, and he isn't ashamed to share his views. Whether or not Allen's personal politics played into the decision, the show made plenty of room for right-wing one-liners. Maybe it was just too much for ABC. Luckily, Fox decided to distribute the show themselves, and Last Man Standing didn't lose ratings. What do you think about this? Share your thoughts in the comments below. And don't forget to stay awesome!